I'm alone today. Johnny's gone to try and sort out the baggage situation because we are now day three without baggage. So hopefully we can get that sorted. And today is Sean needs to buy replacement clothes day. 110%. But for the time being, it's an Animal Kingdom sort of day. This is very dense. Very nice. Oh, wow. The tree of life. Okay, that's stunning. It looks so much smaller on TV. <laughs> wow. I didn't even need to think twice about where I'm going. Straight to the left, straight to Pandora. And as my Disney Sherpa isn't with me today, I've got to go old school. I've seen the pictures so many times, yet in person it's still majestically incredible. I haven't had much sleep this trip, but I'm definitely still dreaming. Well, it said 40 minutes, but we've been walking for all of 10. D1, seat 6. Please Go. fill the room on both drivers. Stow your gear on the back wall and. All right. See you on the other side. Hold your How cool is throughout that? Throughout this entire experience, remain seated. Lower, holding on. Okay, how cool this is. And my face just come up on the screen and disappeared. There's me. Hey, now, I'm not a big, still not a big fan of flying theatres, but you ain't getting better than that one. You can feel the banshee that you're riding breathing. You can feel it breathing against you. It, I had a big smile on my face from start to finish, which is the first time that's ever happened in a flying theatre. Straight into the merch store, and there is lots of merch to choose from. This whole area is scarily, scarily immersive. From the floating rocks to the intricacies of the caves, the waterfalls, it's, you are completely immersed. You are completely immersed. I never want to go back to the UK ever again. Right, just coming down to the Navi River boat journey, which is on a 25 minute wait. That's not too bad at all. Flight of Passage gets a long queue. Who would have thought that a flying theatre would have the longest queue in a theme park? Mad. This place, man. This place. I'm going to wake up on Monday like, did all this just happen? Like the last week, did it just happen? That was beauty beyond words. Were well, one of the most impressive animatronics I have ever seen in my entire life. 
That was ridiculous. I've said that word so much. It's hard to find enough adjectives to describe just what kind of experiences that you're gonna get at Walt Disney World. You just casually come out to that, you know, just as you do. All right, looks like I'm heading into Africa now for a safari. Whilst Avatar Flight of Passage said 40 minutes and we were on in 10, this one's definitely felt like a 40 minutes queue. God, I hope this is good. We've got a private seat. All to myself. I like it. Now this suits me just fine. <laughs> This one is really close. That was very, very good. We were on there for ages. I don't quite realise just how big each individual park is. It really is overwhelming. It's food time. The, f the food has been lovely so far, and I think this is going to be exactly the same. Right, so I'm currently on my way to a show. So the first show of the day, we've got two today, and the first one is a Lion King show. Now, I've been told that we're on a, a VIP list, so apparently you just have to go up to somebody who's on the door, say your name, and they let you in. I'm gonna give it a whirl and see if we get in. And by we, I mean me. Hi, my name should be on a list, a VIP list, Sean Evans. In escorted in, <laughs> what's going on? I felt like I was involved, I was ready to get up and start shaking my maracas. <laughs> Discovery Land. And I'm going to go to straight to uh, Dino Land USA because there is apparently a dinosaur dark ride. As much as I like Johnny as my Disney Sherpa, I haven't really needed it in Animal Kingdom. Everything's pretty straightforward and well signposted. So, uh, so far so good. And in just a second as we come into Discovery Land, we're straight into Dino Land USA. That's, that's a big dino. I'm not entirely sure if it's up. It looks way too quiet. Too many staff members there. 
That's the first ride this whole trip that's been down. Let's see how long it actually stays down for them. I call this my uh, Fred Durst stage. Because it's that hot, no matter how much sun cream I put on my neck, it's still burning. So I'm just twisting my cap around the other way to try and protect it. And then every 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna flick it back around. <laughs> Top sip. Well, it doesn't work, so probably don't take after my advice. But uh, I'm trying to find the rapids because I desperately need to cool down. That's what I like to see. Right, like a first slide drop. They're really good. <laughs> Unfortunately, when when Fantasia land, that one was closed. But uh, yeah, that was my first one. I needed that. I needed it. I'm cool now. Refreshed. Now I'm not sure if it still is, but when that opened, Expedition Everest was the most expensive ride in the entire world. This is stunning. 45 minutes for Expedition Everest. Look at this. museum in the queue line. About 30 minutes there for Expedition Everest. I'm excited about this one. This looks good.
that was really good. Not sure why it's the most expensive though. It took a while for like the tracks, which is a very old ride, but it seems like it's got an old sort of system there. But um, still very fun. Is it because there's a Yeti museum? If you know why it's the most expensive ride in the world, do let me know. Maybe the mountain cost an absolute fortune. I'm definitely going the right way to Dino Land. Yeah, that's right. We're going to see if a dinosaur's open now because it was closed earlier. And I think that's every single ride done in Animal Kingdom. I have missed a show though, so I missed Finding Nemo. Dinosaur has reopened. This is great news, even if it's the worst ride in the world. I've now done all of the main rides in Animal Kingdom. Yes. That fist looked rather aggressive, but I, I apologise. 25 minutes for dinosaur. Oh, God bless you, air conditioning. <laughs> it's go time. closed earlier. Probably should have stayed closed. That was rough, pitch black, couldn't harness the animatronics. Horrendous motion. Horrendous motion. That's the worst ride here. Like so far this entire trip. That is so bad. Right, so that's my day at Animal Kingdom. And the park itself is just immersive, beautiful and incredible. And I've loved every second of it. And I hope you've enjoyed watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.